So a couple of days ago, someone commented on one of my videos and they asked, how do you upgrade your binary kernel? And I could have wrote this message out, but I thought to myself, you know what? This would make a pretty good video because I actually need to update my kernel here on my system. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to show you the process of updating a binary kernel. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I personally do it. Now, there are some different methods that you can use, um, but just this is just a way that I, I've always kind of done it. And uh, I personally like using binary kernels versus kernel sources um, just simply because I have newer hardware and the making a custom kernel like yeah that stuff is pretty cool and everything but it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of research um for your specific hardware and my hardware is semi new as uh, so these days i just prefer to use a binary kernel and uh Everything seems to just work. So let's go ahead and flip over to the desktop here and then we'll get started. So the first thing we're going to do is pull up a terminal here. And I will make sure that I can set the font for you guys. Hopefully that's pretty, pretty big. Let me go ahead and clear here. Okay, so the... First thing that I want to show you guys is what kernel version that I'm actually using. So if I do uname minus R, you can see that I am running the 6.141 kernel. Okay, now the kernel, there's some different versions out right now. So if we do, um, if we do EIX Gen 2 kernel Ben, I think that's the name. Yes, so you can see that we have this 6.141 kernel installed. However, there is the 6.48 kernel that's in um, the repository right now. So, I think that's the kernel that I want to install. I want to install the newest, the latest and greatest kernel, okay? Um, so the way we do this is we can emerge equals, and then we do sys kernel gen2 kernel bin, and then we give it the version that we want to upgrade, right? And we want to upgrade it to the 6.4.8. We came across our first problem, right? And it's pretty much saying, hey, this package is masked. Um, you need to unmask it in order to install it. Okay, well, I've shown you guys how to unmask packages in the past. There's two different ways that you can do this. You can unmask a package per package, which that's my preferred method, or you can put the accept keywords AMD64 in your make.configuration file and it won't ever ask you ever again. Now, I personally don't like to do that because there, I believe the AMD64, I believe that is the testing branch. Um, so I don't like to, I don't like to install the latest and greatest of everything. Um, so I just kind of prefer to do it per package. But the way we do this is we can do echo. And let me uh, let me hide my big head here so you guys can see this. So we can do echo equals. Now the reason I'm not doing greater than or equal to um or yeah, greater than or equal to because I want to stay on this 6.4 0.8 kernel for quite a while. I don't need um, the newest one as soon as it comes out. Um, so we're just going to say equals um, sys kernel gen2 kernel bin and then we'll do the version 6.48 
AMD 64. And then we need to pipe this to etc forage package dot accept keywords. Uh, and then we say gen2 kernel bin. Just like that. Now we if we hit the up arrow. It's going to gripe about another mass package. Um, you do have to install this virtual dist kernel package. Um, so that's what it's complaining about right here. So we can just kind of hit up. Um, and then we can change this to dist kernel. And then we can change this, this right here to... virtual dist hyphen kernel and then we hit up and now everything should be ready to uh, ready to install now if you're using a Nvidia card um, if it does not, if it does not automatically update your NVIDIA drivers or pull in the new drivers, um, make sure that you do that after you install the kernel, okay? Because uh, your NVIDIA drivers need to be compiled against whatever kernel that you're going to be using. And you can see right here, um, the NVIDIA drivers are going to... Uh, get compiled for this new kernel as well as the video for uh, loopback so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just pause the video um, because this is this may take a little while so I'm gonna let it compile this kernel and then I will bring you guys back and um, I'll show you guys the next step so the new kernel is compiled all right so the next step that we need to do as we need to do eselect kernel list okay and make sure that we have the symbolic link to the newest kernel which if you look at the star it is next thing we need to do is we need to do a merged depth clean okay this is going to get re removed the old um, binary um, kernel but it's not going to remove the image, and that's kind of important. So we get, we need to do one more step before we can boot into this new kernel. Is we need to actually tell Grub, uh, we need to update Grub in order for Grub to grab that new uh, that new image. So if we do an ls boot, you can see right now we have. Well, I actually, I have three different kernels, uh, kernel images built, right? We have the 6.138. I have a 6.141, which is the old one that I was using. And we have the newest one, the 6.4.8. So, how do we fix Grub, or how do we make Grub look at the, uh, the newest image? Well, we just do Grub... Make config minus o boot grub grub dot cfg. Okay, and what this is going to do, this is going to find all the images, and you can see that it found the image and it made a entry in the grub dot cfg file. And after you do that, you're pretty much done. Um, you reboot the system and. Um, hopefully everything boots up as normal. Like I did say though, um, if you are running NVIDIA, after you do a reboot, it is kind of wise to um, go ahead and, and re-emerge your NVIDIA drivers if the NVIDIA drivers did not uh, emerge along with the newest kernel. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video right now and then I'm going to reboot my system and um, I will bring you guys back into the uh, the newest uh, kernel. All right. Well, we rebooted. Everything seems to work. Um, and 
then if we clear that, let me uh, make sure I got the, the font here. And if we do a uname minus R, you can see that we are running that newest 6.4.8 kernel. So, I hope this video was helpful, and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I do try and get back to each and every single one of you. And, uh, yeah, for the individual that was wanting to know how to update the Linux kernel here on Gen 2, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's pretty easy. Um um, like I said, if you uh, if you run a if you want the newest kernel or the newest package, you will have to unmask that package because typically the newest software is in testing. Okay, so um, just unmask it and emerge it, and uh, yeah, hopefully everything works out. So until next time, I want you guys to take care, be safe, and peace. Bye, guys.